right, y'all. It is our last day. We are back in Georgia, and we know there's good fish here, so we drove an extra four hours last night to get where we wanted to be this morning, back to where we caught those big fish on Thursday of last week, and now it's Wednesday of the following week, so it's almost a week later. But we have fished our hearts out. It's time to crush some slaunches. That big bass energy, and we're getting after them. Just got here to the pond, getting our rods tied up. We are pumped, it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna charge this GoPro because we're gonna need some extra footage today. But we're gonna be good to go. First cast of the morning. Crush them right here. Second cast of the morning, y'all. First fish. Not a toad, but I'll take him. A little bigger. And suddenly, just like that, two for two, two casts in a row. I'm glad we drove back. Switched it up to the square bell so I can cast a little further. A little bigger bait too, bigger hooks. So I hit a big one on that little jerk bait. I honestly don't really know how I'm gonna get him in. Good fish right there, y'all. Not a giant, but we'll take him. Man, he was barely hooked. That was a fat little bass right there. Kind of curious what this little sucker would weigh. One and a half. 1.4. Good looking little fish. Whew, I can't complain about that, y'all. I cannot complain about that. Hey, baby kitty, you're our friend, huh? You like it when we come to fish. You like it, huh? You're a good kitty. Good kitty. See if we can't catch you a fish. There's just a two pounder in front of me. We need to take our time and really cover this water. Cause dude, I cast it off that branch with the jerk bait, nothing. Threw the square bale in there, three seconds later, crushed it. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off, he got off. Doggone it. See, that's why I was afraid to use that. Such, they have such little hooks. I gotta switch to the square bale. God, dog, that was a nice little fish. That was a two and a half pounder. Oh yeah. Come get this camera. Oh yeah, baby. All right, y'all, look at that 
freaking fat belly on that thing. Whew. That's like a one and a half pounder body with a two and a half pound fish. That's freaking awesome right there. That is a chunk. Hey, look at his gullet. He's got the back of another fish sticking out of it already. Oh yeah, he does. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that fish right there is definitely a like a pound and a half body and that sucker weighs two and a half pounds. It's crazy. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Tell me what your name is. Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just wanna go over the details. I just saw one chasing right out here. Looked like a big old swirl. Got him. Get on my level. <laughs> hey, Jamo, you wanna switch baits yet? Another beautiful two and a half pounder. Thanks, buddy. Seven fish in, only been on the lake an hour. So I'm kind of rooting for JMO a little bit because he's yet to hook into one. So he's getting a little butt hurt over there. But yeah, seven fish in, smash that subscribe button, y'all. This is what we're here for. So glad we came back to this town because we've gotten our butts whooped all week. And this is our last day, so we are gonna crush him today. Sent it over him about four times now, so. He must not want it. Oh, you yes. Dang it, dude. Right as I said that, he don't want it. Boom, he hit it. Right there. There it is. There he is. Yep. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah, people. Look at that right there. Another absolute gorgeous fish. 2.6. Two, six. Two, six. Another two and a half pounder. We'll take it. Hi there, how are you? Hey, you got oh, we do? Yeah, no oh, okay. We had permission from a guy the other day that told us we could fish here as long as we didn't go behind these houses. Be we're parked over um, right back here. There was a guy we met the other day. We were just driving around looking for places to fish. And he was like, yeah, he's like, you can park right in front of my house. He's like, you can just, he's like, we can go here. And then we talked to a guy right over here. And he was like, man, he's like, I don't mind if y'all fish. He's like, just don't, please don't go behind these houses here. He's like, but y'all can fish this whole backside and back around to this corner. Because uh, there wasn't any, uh, there wasn't any posted signs anywhere along. So the pier is right there. Oh, okay, cool. So you go back out to the main road on 17. Okay. And you go right there. Okay, cool. Awesome. So there's also another spot right here, the Chief of Love. You're right here. Yeah. There's the other lake right there. Okay, I say, because we fished, the guy told us, he's like, y'all should fish here. And then he's like, um, fish that other lake yeah, too. Yeah, the other so. lake is county property. So it's oh, open to okay. the public. I, perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, thank you so All much, right, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for your service. Right. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Yep. Sorry they had to call you and bring you out here for that. Uh, you good, man. When people pay their HOA, man. Yeah, well, I didn't. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yep. You know, we just had that officer come up and talk to us and tell us we needed to leave. But thankfully, we did not enter that pond past trespassing signs or anything like that. 
As it turns out, there's only two signs on that entire park, or at that entire pond, and uh, they were on the other side of the lake from where we were fishing. You know, it's, it's one of the deals. I really wish we could have kept fishing that pond. I caught eight fish or seven fish, something like that. Had eight or nine on, and uh, it's a great morning. But yeah, y'all always be respectful because you go being a jerk to him, you know, he could write you a citation for trespassing or something like that. But as long as you're being respectful and, you know, got your ducks in a row, got your fishing license, you should be good. But it's sad that at this day and age, you know, with all the kids causing trouble and whatever, you know, that they see two guys out here fishing, you know, not hurting nobody. And uh, they want to kick us off the property when we weren't doing any trouble. But, you know, it is what it is private property I guess so we're gonna be respectful and we're gonna go somewhere else and then the cops got called on us and an officer asked us to politely leave our honey hole all right y'all we had a really good morning I was able to catch quite a few fish but as you guys saw that cop kind of came and ruined our last day here so Jameson's finishing up packing up his stuff and we are gonna head back north uh, been an amazing seven days, but we're going to get back on the road and try to get home before we get quarantined and stuck in Georgia for the next week so or two weeks or whatever it's going to be. So we're going to try to hustle home. Got about an 800 mile drive, so we'll see y'all when we get home. It is about 1.30 in the morning and somebody is happy to see me um but we made it so we're gonna head to bed and get some get some rest and uh call it a day what's up y'all we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our trip to florida we had an absolute blast making it for you we ended up traveling just under 3,000 miles in the last seven days and we caught a ton of nice fish. We had a blast making it for you. So smash that subscribe button and we will see y'all next time. We plan to do a bunch more of these road trips. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time.